Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Shadow Zone. Today, we're going to try something completely new because, believe it or not, I never ever had a career game going on. This is weird, but yeah, we're going to do this in sort of a live gameplay situation. This is really just me talking and you watching what I am doing. There's my flag. And yeah, difficulty options normal, that's okay, and let's start this thing. As I mentioned in some of my previous videos, I usually just do some, uh, some either the science mode or the, uh, what's it called, sandbox modes of these games. And today we're going to try to do something else. Yes, we're going to launch our first vessel and gather some data. And let's hope, oh, we can't, we have to upgrade our thing here. But let's first do something else and build a rocket. Okay, as I said before, this is just me talking while playing Kerbal Space Program. No scripting, no editing, no time warping or anything. Well, except for the time warping in the game itself, of course. So do we already have some scientific experiments? Yes, we have. All right, maybe, maybe three. No, let's stick with two. And we have a pilot. Yes, of course, the mighty Jebediah Carmen is going to fly this thing. Let's call this the Mark I. Because I really should not bother with names at this point in the game, should I? Okay. This looks like a dull place to be, but let's do some science. Yes, we're going to record this and we're going to observe this. And I don't think... Oh, we can do EVA. All right. Ah, but I think we can't do EVA in the space yet. This is something I have to upgrade. All right, let's go. And there she goes. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, first mistake. I had to do some better staging, I believe. Oh, well, still we get some new science and we've launched our first vessel, have we not? Yes. And why? Ah, oh, we have to recover our scientific data for it to count. All right. At least the parachute didn't rip off and kill my Jebediah. I thought maybe I should play with the more harder settings, you know, like if a Kerbal dies, he dies and you can't revert and you lose everything and so on. But I think with my style of playing, I would really lose interest very soon. Okay. Uh, the rocket is now in the ground, but nothing exploded, so we have full recovery of something that doesn't cost a lot. Oh well. But we got some science, which is nice, and we got our funds back, and we got our Jebediah back. Hey, he also gained one experience point. Yay. Let's head right into research and development, and... Yeah, let's, let's research all the things that we can research. What's there? Oh, we got a new pressure sensor if we choose this one. And that's what we're going to do, I think. Or is there anything else? Hmm, that's a good fuel engine. Ah, I'm so torn. I never really liked these science uh, decision things because I want to do all of them. And I can't, because I have to gather the science, which is tedious, but let's do it anyways. Alright, can we upgrade anything? Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry about that. Okay. So, yeah, we have some more stuff we can do. Uh, focus, service, service, service. Ah, let's test the booster. And let's test the decoupler, or <laughs> what are the conditions? Ooh! Well, we have to get up really high, and we have to do some very specific speeds. Hmm. 
Uh, well, how many contracts can I have? Maximum of two. <laughs> how about this? Well, this is a bit more realistic for me, to be honest. And... Uh, let's try this one. All right. What do our contracts say? We have to test the parachute. And we have to test the f uh, solid fuel booster. Parachute is the Mark 16. This we already have. We have to be 10,000 to 14,000 meters above the Earth. I think we can do that. And yeah. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try this. Uh, more science, of course. More science. Hey, temperature. This is great. Some more temperature. We got some more pressure. And what else do we got? Do we have some decouplers? Yes. We have a decoupler. Why do we need a decoupler? Because I want to test this booster. But I really don't want to... Uh, I really don't want it to catapult me in the air. I want to test it, and I test it with very limited thrust. All right. Let's do this again. Okay, now the staging is a lot better, which is nice. We get some more readings. Pressure scan. Temperature scan, get those, log, take it, take the other one, get back in, oh, look at that, the moon is up there in the sky, well, not today, my friend, not today, but we will visit you, I promise you that. Okay, the test is complete. And we can let that be and fly off into the air. Okay. This is really quick now. And we are now gathering some more data. Uh, are we going to reach the necessary height and speed? I'm afraid we won't. Hmm, not good. Alright, but maybe we can already gather some new science. No. Oh, parachute. Yeah, I should use the parachute this time. Oh, we already have that, but we can gather some new science in the water. Which will be great! Okay. Observe that mystery goo thingy. It wobbles around and we have some new data. We have some EVA report while from the shores. And let's do some... Uh, let's take that data. Take that data. Uh, take everything. Some new crew report. Boom, and some new data here and here. All right. Well, this should do it for the second mission. Now, since we've done our second mission now, let's see. Oh, we got some way more science. This is nice. And we got way more cash. But we still are now not nearly somewhere where we could, well, use it for anything good. Okay, let's do something else. What's this? 5% reputations gains. Let's do some more. I really don't need that much reputation because I'm so great. Oh, that was a joke. Okay. Oh, I can only have one strategy active. Well, Nope, I wanted to see, could I upgrade this? Yes, because then I can have more contracts, but how about the tracking station? This will be necessary to upgrade in the future. 
uh, hangar astronaut complex. Then we can get out of our vehicle in space. I think I want to do this. No. I want to upgrade this. Yes. And we can place flags, which is nice. I don't really need this yet, but oh well. Vessel size, vessel weight, 18 tons. 30 parts, let's do some upgrade on the launch pad. I really don't like that dirt pad. How about this? Oh, we don't have any cash left. Huh, we don't have any cash left. Maybe this will be the shortest career uh, play, gameplay ever. Because if I am correct, this costs more than I can spend at the moment. Hmm, not good. Okay, we now have to get some really lucrative contract, oh, otherwise man. we're done for. Okay, I think this is going to be the one to escape the atmosphere. I think we can do this with the technology we have. Now we have to get some cash. Hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, we have some signs left. Haha. <laughs> Let's see if we get some more exciting stuff we can build. Uh, there we go. Some more signs. Some more signs. Do we need some more signs or do we need some more rocket things? I think we need definitely more rocket things. Some flying things. Oh, I really think we should get some flying things because then we can do those, uh, do those fly somewhere and gather science somewhere contracts. Okay, now we need 45, 90, uh, 180. Oh, well, we need a lot of science now. Okay, but first we have to escape our atmosphere. And how are we going to do that? First we're going to use a decoupler, because I think we're going to need it. Then let's use this one. Uh, looks okay. I'm going to add some parachutes to this. Why, you might ask? Well, the reason being is I've got uh, that nice little stage recovery. Uh, nope. That's not it. Where is my stage recovery mod? There it is. I got that stage recovery mod and uh, I hope that if I put two parachutes on this, then I can recover the stage completely. Now let's see how that works out. All right. Let's hope we don't explode. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going somewhere, but... Not really in a good way. But will we manage to get out of the atmosphere? That is the question. I think so. Yeah, I definitely think so. Whoops. I lost my goo canister. Well, this is not great, but while we are still in the atmosphere, let's gather some signs from within the upper atmosphere. Let's gather a crew report and let's gather our temperatures. Come on. While we're still in the atmosphere. Okay, now we're out of the atmosphere. This is good. And we can grab all of this. All of nope, this and all of that. And let's also take this thing here. 
and also do an EVA report from Urban. There we go. Let's board this thing. And let's hope that re-entry will not kill us. Okay, we are now up very high. Let's see, can we get an EVA report from high above Kerbin? No, this is not high enough. But I think I was high enough, but no, I am not. Yeah, whatever. Space. We gather some data from space, which is nice. I think we have to do this again because I forgot earlier on because I already I just collected them but did not uh, take it back. Okay, let's see how that's going to work. Okay, we're coming in very hot. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think this is not going to end well because yeah. I lost my temperature scanner and now I don't have any more uh any more data from space near Kerbin, which is bad, but I think I heard the parachutes for the booster release somewhere above me, I guess. Let's hope so. Okay, we're coming down. Oh, did you hear that? Where are my boosters? Where is my booster? Somewhere is my booster. I can't see my booster, but I've heard it. Okay, this is the landing of my capsule. Oh, there's a shadow. Oh, and there's the booster landing. Look at that. We've now beat SpaceX at their own game because we've now landed a parachuted solid rocket booster of very limited power. I am, of course, joking. Boom, and I think it's recovered. Let's hope so. All right, uh, now that we're here, we have some new biome, meaning that we are somewhere else. And let's do some more EVA report. Grasslands. Let's take this and let's get back in. Do another crew report and let's do another pressure thingy. Okay. Alright, well this was not a complete success, but let's see what we got. Alright, 95 science. We can spend that really well and we already have some new cash. Phew! Well, I'm not broke yet. Let's see if I manage to do that in the second episode. You've just entered the Shadow Zone. Stay tuned for more. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Also, you can watch one of the two cool videos shown on the right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.